Hello, my name is Mackenzie Bowles. I am a fourth year medical student at the University of Nevada, Reno School of Medicine, and I will be presenting our poster on behalf of my group today. Um, our poster is entitled, Medical Students' Knowledge and Perception of Obesity in Children and Adolescents. To begin with, pediatric obesity continues to increase in prevalence, and it is a significant challenge to both prevent and to treat. In Nevada, approximately 40% of youth are overweight or obese, and 70% of these children will remain overweight as adults. Traditional medical school curriculum does not adequately prepare students to counsel families on this subject. Thus, the purpose of our study was to evaluate the evolution of third-year medical student knowledge and perceptions involved in managing obesity in children and adolescents over the course of the pediatric clinical curriculum. We took 61 medical students who were entering their third year clerkship at the University of Nevada, Reno, and they were given a survey to evaluate baseline knowledge of pediatric obesity and perceptions surrounding treatment modalities for this population. During the six week pediatric clerkship, students had formalized instruction on the diagnosis and treatment of obesity in children. They spent one afternoon in a multidisciplinary clinic for overweight and obese children, and they designed an intervention plan aimed at optimizing nutrition and exercise for a high risk family. The survey was then repeated at the end of the pediatric clerkship. And um, for our results, all of these Pre differences between the pretest mean and the post test mean uh, had a p value of less than 0 0.05, indicating that they were stat statistically significant differences. Um, on the top left, we see that there was a significant increase in self assessed knowledge in counseling patients with obesity. On the bottom left, we see that there is an increase in self-assessed comfort level in counseling patients with obesity. Um, in the middle, we see that there was a significant increase in um, self-assessed ability to counsel overweight and obese children. On the top right, we see there was a significant difference in um, self-assessed adequacy of medical school curriculum in this area. And we also see on the bottom right that there was a significant increase in um, the student's opinion about the efficacy of counseling in the treatment of overweight and obese children and adults. So we see that there are significant gaps noted in the baseline assessment of appropriate diagnostic methods used to diagnose an over overweight or obesity in children under three, as well as the age three to puberty. And after the curriculum was implemented, we do see that significant increase in all of those aforementioned areas. So we see that this um, curriculum is a step in the right direction. Uh, the pediatric obesity and nutrition curriculum improved students' overall knowledge and understanding of the methods to diagnose obese obesity and make appropriate recommendations in various age groups. Importantly, student perceptions of their ability to, and their comfort level to counsel patients and families about obesity treatment and prevention increased significantly. With the ongoing raise in obesity in the general population, these results demonstrate the importance of making obesity education an integral part of medical education. This could include early training on how to address obesity with families, patient simulations, and a more robust medical education on proper age-based diet and exercise recommendation. By promoting medical students' knowledge and counseling and recognizing weight-specific issues in the pediatric population early on, it would aid in mitigating the various lifelong obesity-associated health, health risks. Thank you for listening to our poster presentation, and although we have a long way to go in educating um, future providers and current providers about the obesity epidemic. UNR is doing its part to try to implement some pediatric obesity curriculum with positive results. Thank you again.